Hello, this is uh, the second example of using ProcMix. And in this demonstration, we're going to show how to use a user specified G matrix. Okay, so here is uh, a, a data set with uh, two traits on three animals. So it's a tiny uh, data set, but that's okay. Uh, this is just for demonstration. What we want to do is we want to fit a mixed model and then use it to predict the missing trait of the third animal here. So one of the SAS procedure, regression procedure, uh, kind of uh, uses for prediction is you can put in a new observation into the data set uh, with all the covariate values, but then the dependent variable you code as missing. And then you fit the um, regression model, then the regression model act will actually predict the missed uh, outcome variable. Okay. For this exercise, we really want to use uh, a G matrix we give to SAS. So we don't want to SAS to estimate the G matrix from the data. Okay. So here, let's uh, read in the data. This is uh, a matrix. Uh, it has rows and the columns. 1 to 6, and uh, it has uh, the data value. The first row is 211211, second 12.5, 12.5, and third fourth, fifth, and uh, uh, six. Okay, so we want uh, our G matrix to look like this. And remember, the G matrix is for the random effects, and the R matrix is for the repeated measure, the so serial correlation in longitudinal measurement. So here is uh, how to use the user-specified G matrix in ProcMix. Similarly, you call ProcMix data equal to H and specify MMEQ and MMEQ solution. Uh, it's for dummy variables, trait, and animal. You would fit a model y equal to trait, uh, no intercept. Uh, you want the uh, fixed effects estimate. And you want to output all the predicted values in the, uh, um, you know, the predicted, uh, uh, you know, values into a data set there. And you want the random effects to be treated by animal, uh, unstructured correlation. You're using g data equal to g. So this is uh, how you use the user specify the G matrix. And you, you want SAS to print out the G matrix. And uh, you want it also to display the inverse of the G matrix. Okay, Just make sure it's not singular. And the S, the solution. Uh, and then you use also repeated. Um, use the uh, subject of the animal. So you're actually taking into account of both the random effects and the serial correlation in the repeated measures. Okay. And the R is for estimating the R matrix and RI the inverse of the R matrix. And you really want to um, uh, look into the parameter 415, the value of the block diagonal matrix R, and you don't want it to show the no iteration history. Okay. And we can print the predicted values using the proc print. Okay. So here's the uh, mixed effects model, uh, so the usual stuff. And then this is the estimated R matrix. And this is the uh, inverse of the R matrix. Um, the estimated G matrix and the inverse estimate inverse of G matrix. And then together, so if you wonder what these um, um, MMSEQ and MSEQ solution, they're really for the mixed model um, equation. Okay, So this is the equations. And uh, this is the equation solutions. Okay. And then you got to fit statistics, uh, fixed effects, and uh, random effects, and uh, the type 3 uh, test. And if you want to see the predicted value, then you got all the predicted here. And you see 
um, the for the y the original data for the six uh, observation the y was missing but now you have a predicted 7.12015 okay so that is an example of showing how to use a user-specified G matrix in ProcMix.